Oh, pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, got a new product to show you today. Well, say new product. It came out uh, early this month, July, with it being July the 28th today. So it came out beginning of the month sometime, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, and it's the Speedy B USB adapter. Now for a few of you that may not have seen it and may not know, I'll take a closer look on the bench in a moment right, and I'll show you it working. Right, but what it is, it's basically an adapter right, that you can plug into any flight control board. Uh, I don't think, seeing that, I don't think uh, it'll work with Butterflight or Kiss. I could be wrong, right? But uh, we will see. But I use Beta Flight anyhow. But if you're using Beta Flight on your flight control board, it'll plug into any flight control board. Right? And you can access Beta Flight through an app, a free app, through your iPhone or your tablet. Right? I know it works on Android and I believe it's compatible with Apple, but I'm not 100%. So if you've got an Apple device, check first right don't want you blaming me all right they're not that expensive all right got this from banggood.com uh, picture coming up somewhere about 15 quid and they're bloody great because the if you're at the field you don't need your ta yeah, tablet you don't need your laptop we are out like that anymore you simply plug this into your flight control board Pick up your phone and uh, do any adjustments because everything that's on beta flight when you're at home and got your quad plugged in, right? Everything on beta flight is on the little app, right? And it, like I said, it's a free app, so it does everything you'd want from calibrating to your pids, to transmit everything. Your your command lines, you can go and change your command lines. You can do every everything you would normally do on your laptop. Right, or on your desktop, you can do it at the field, just on your phone. No need to bring bulky stuff anymore. Right, but I got it for a particular reason. Right, quick story. Uh, I often get, well I say often, about five times this year it's happened to me. When I'm at the field, uh, somebody, might come fly, uh, somebody might come flying up. Hey! Somebody might come walking up and uh, ask us summer and I catch up. True story, there you go. I went to the field uh, about, about a month, month or two ago, and there was a kid already flying. I went up to him, I said, Oh, what FPV channel are you want for obvious reasons? And I got talking to him, and he said he was new and uh, he was getting used to it, and he didn't like the way it was rolling real fast and everything. So I said, Go, go into beta flight, change your pids and but well he didn't know how to do that basically. He'd set it up as stock and he didn't really understand. And quick shout out, I said go on YouTube and look up Joshua Bardwell, he's got a complete playlist. Well I know there's loads of other people with loads of playlists on their beta flight, but let's be honest, Joshua Bardwell is covered everything. But anyway, yeah, so I, I talked him through what he had to do and everything. Uh, I did his goggles, I explained to him about the transmitter, you're into the left and up, I believe, I can't remember now. And then you can access uh, your settings on screen. But uh, I talked him through it and everything. But if I'd have had one of these, I could have simply plugged it into uh, his quad. Right, and he would have seen beta flight right in front of him. I could have changed his settings for him, and he would have seen exactly what to do and how to do it. So that's the main reason why I got this. Right, so it's just in my flight bag, and if anyone asks, I can help them. Right, rather than trying to go into detail. Yeah, it'll come in handy for me occasionally. I'm flying, and I think oh, I could do to change that or whatever. But you think, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going home, I ain't brought me bits and pieces. I usually just swap quads. If I'm not happy, I just swap to a different quad. And I'm like, hey, and we're off again. But anyhow, let's get down to the table then, have a closer look at it, and I'll show you it working. Okay then, to the table. Here we go then. This is the app, what you'll see when you download the app. Like I say, it's a free app. But the good thing is, if you buy one of these, 
when you open up the instructions which are very very simple right all it is well all you get is that you get the actual adapter and you get the silicon wire with an xt60 on the end all right and the instructions <laughs> so you solder it on but it just tells you about blue blue lights red lights whatever but on the back right there's the actual website where you can go and it gives you information but uh you just download the app off uh i just read it actually uh android uh, ios but if you just search for the speedy b app and like i say it, it's a free app so you sort it right uh you've seen the packaging it just comes in a little uh, plasticky box so i'll move that out the road and you want to see the actual thing well all it is you've got your micro usb here right and you simply I've just got an old flight control board here. You simply would plug it into your flight control board like you would be if you was connecting it up to your uh, laptop or anything. You have your Bluetooth turned on, you have your app ready to go. And you simply... Uh, that connector's tight. Not that one, the one on my battery. You simply plug it in and click on your Bluetooth symbol. And hopefully, oh, there you go, and it found it, so it's logged into it. And hopefully, initializing, this is all upside down to me. And there you go. Wait for it. There you go, there's your heli, as you would see. Look, you can see it moving, hopefully you can. You should be able to, I believe that's in shot. And you, you've got everything you would normally have. If you click this little icon at the bottom, you'd recognise more things. Port, connect, I'm reading this upside down. Power battery, pig tuning. You know, you, you've got it all here, all right? If I just click on one and just click that little icon to make it smaller again. You've got everything you would normally have, normally see on beta flight, all right? Including your on-screen display. You can set obviously anything up however you want it. it it's beta flight on an app it's as simple as that and you, it, it's all there i don't know how else to explain it but it it's all there including uh no that's the wrong one i'm all upside down here remember but uh where are we i think it's, it's that one no there's your modes and stuff and your pids i'll just go through a couple more you're probably getting bored now because you're thinking yeah yeah it's beta flight i've seen it but uh which one? Oh, there's your black box yeah it says black box up there don't forget i'm reading this upside down before you pick on me but there's your black box and like i say you can go into your control line which which one's the bloody control line is it that one no well whatever you'll find it but it's all it's all in there trust me all right everything you need including your battery setups and everything it's beta flight but on an app and like i say i'm just showing you on a tablet so you, you get a better view of it and everything but uh it's all there everything you'd need everything you want okay then uh pilots and ground crew i will uh leave it there and uh yeah, it's great. Links in the description. You can pick them up from all over the place, but uh, it. a lot of people might say, oh, I don't need one, I'll just this or that, or whatever, do it at home. But it's worth getting. One warning. Think of this at the field as if you'd be uh, on your, your normal laptop. Right? If you do an adjustment, you still have to save it. Right? And when you're coming out of it, don't just unplug everything, disconnect. Do it as if you was already at the field. Oh, and there's your calibration as well. So if your quad got out of whack, you can sit it down, click calibrate, and you're off again. Okay. Right, so we'll just come out of that. Back to there. Unplug the lipo, if I can. Ugh. Bloody hell, I'm out of shot yanking at this thing. So, right, it's this uh, XT60 connector I've got on the end of this LiPo. It's a bit knackered, so it's as stiff as hell pulling it in and out of stuff. 
just take the flight control board out. And there you go then. Right, it's a great little tool, like I say, whether you're going to use it or not going to use it. It's somewhat nice to have, because if one of your friends right, have a problem, you can just whack yours in and uh, go into beta flight and sort it out for them. So there you go then, pilots and ground crew. Uh, we've had a look. It's uh, the Speedy B USB adapter. Plug it into any flight control board and do all your beta flight settings at the field, whether you're using a little tablet like this or just off your iPhone. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching and plenty of information, links and stuff in the description. Okay then, and cheers!